Hello. So, the table tidying continues. And part of that is I must assess things. And I, I don't remember exactly the last time I did something with a pet. So here is an 8032. It's an earlier one. I don't know why, but they started putting this black around here. Maybe it made it less reflective and easier to read. I don't know. This one at this moment does not have a keyboard in it. And I don't think I have one handy. Well, maybe I do to plug in. But, um, let's see. There were many things about the pet that were cool. Um... This one, I think, would benefit from just a tweak with a, yes, Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. But if you wanted to work on it, have a look inside. Much like most cars now, it had this grand way of just flipping it up. Oh, dear. Sheldon approaches. So, I have not had this one on for a long time. As I look inside, I find a couple of plastic sort of leg things. These. Hi, Sheldon. No, please. No, come up here, please. I'm busy here. Thank you. These were put underneath and they held the board in place. Hi, Sheldon. No, we're busy here. Thank you. Nice, Sheldon. And there's also, there's a couple of screws, which is not surprising. Um, and a couple of, looks like, round chips. Ooh, hang on. This looks like a time for me to get to my bin of bits and pieces. Hi, Sheldon. Oh, hello. Yes, there's Mr. Sheldon. Working on a 64. So what we have here are two ROM chips. Four one so four zero one six four zero dash one and nine oh one four seven four dash three. This one is made in the forty fourth week of nineteen eighty one, and this one in the fifty second week of nineteen eighty two. I'm assuming at some point, I was serving. Thank you, Sheldon. Thank you for coming. I'm assuming I was tinkering on this machine. It's been a while. And maybe... Maybe... These were some of the things that were here. It's... You know what? I really... I have to keep better notes. That's part of being organized, so I don't have to do things over again. Anyway, this machine has not been done for a while. But everything looks okay in here. Except there's no keyboard. So I'm going to turn it on. That is a good sound. And sure enough, up on the screen it says Commodore Basic 4.03, 31,743 bytes free. That is good. Now, I think over here, maybe, possibly, I see what could be the keyboard. This side of the table is not so dumb as the other. This is indeed a pet keyboard. It is not complete, mind you. It is missing two of the keys on the keypad. And the 
five kilo papers are stuck. But it seems okay. So this is still happy. I'm not gonna the screws to connect it are not there. That does not matter. I have turned it off. I will plug this on. I will turn this on. There's that happy noise. Okay, so. I'm just trying to see. If there's any response from any keys. And in fact, there is not. No reply, no response. It is possible, maybe, because I don't think, yeah, I could have had that upside down. Let's see what happens. You know, a while ago, I said that the nice thing about Commodore machines is they pretty much have all the connectors with little things to make it so you can only plug things in the right way. There is always an exception, and this is that exception. So, huh, good. So, now. Yeah. I want to put this down, but I don't want to hurt the cables. There we go. And I don't want to hurt the keyboard. I wonder. Ugh. Oh dear. And I don't know. I don't want to hurt the stuff that Sheldon has been trying to knock down. Okay. Well, that's not going quite as I would like it. Okay, it's not hurting it. So, here we have this 8032. Now I can't exactly put in a normal program that I would, because I, I would usually use line 10. But, oh, it's dusty. I will try something. I will type in world. Sometimes you need a harder touch, sometimes a lighter one. Ah, oh, got a D. Count and oh, and a zero, sorry. Commodore! there. Over and over and over. Oh, I'm turn this bit. World of Commodore. Now, it's funny, that one is scrolling awfully nicely. What do I do to slow that down? Oh, there it is. It's funny, you just pick the right number of characters, and it's magic, magic. So here is an E32, and here is a somewhat, come well, sort of, kind of, somewhat working keyboard, not really. It is missing the one, and it is missing the zero. The zero, although it works, oh no, it's missing, yes, it's missing three keys. It's missing the zero, it's missing the period, and it's missing the one. Why? I don't know. I might have taken them out. They may have been missing. I don't know. But here is a happy.
happy working at E32. I wish I remembered what these chips were about and why there may be screws missing. Oh, I'm going to turn that off. Lift that up, but I do not want to hurt the keyboard cable. I do not. So, are there screws missing from the board? Um, I would say, yes there are. Oh, there's another one. So I may have had this board out. I think what I should do, because I really don't want to short something out after all these years. I found three screws now. is indeed attached. What am I going to do? It's very scientific. some dust, but nothing else. So now, in the spirit of continuing to be organized, I must set these aside and mark them. But I don't have a bag handy. So now, I do not have to run away all over to tinker with this. And I did want to have power bars. Oh, what have I done? I did something. Nothing to it, but just funny it came up with a bunch of checkerboard. Like I had hit a bunch of keys. I'm going to put 
this down. I'm going to get a sandwich bag and perhaps a sharpie to mark these things so they do not get lost, they do not get separated. And I'm going to leave this guy to just sit and work. I'm just going to look in the back here. 8032-32B, made in the USA, serial number 5003015. Looks pretty clean. So, we have a tent at 8032. That's 80 columns, 32K. And some parts. So, in an effort to be organized, I'm going to, as I say, sort these parts. Keep these parts separate. Ooh, there's a Sharpie. That's a Sharpie. I kind of wish I had keyboard screws, but I don't. Anyway, I'm going to let that burn in. Which I'm sure it did. Almost 40 years ago now at the factory. So, the testing continues. The organizing. Huh. The testing and the organizing continue. Thank you for being here. We will meet again.